to the penalty area. Chance for Lucas. Quick as you like. Turns. Well, that is exactly what Paul Temple will have wished for, if not instructed his team to go back into the penalty area. A chance now. So these are very, very heady times um, for Wellington and probably New Zealand football fans because uh, I, I, imagine, I imagine it's the until the Auckland team starts next season, it's going to be the New Zealand Phoenix because, um, of course, Wellington, the Wellington Phoenix have, are pretty much, uh, well, they are New Zealand's only professional football club. But look, it's certainly been um, the season, the new A-League men's and women's seasons, uh, I mean, the is that the Liberty A League and the East Isuzu A League seasons have started really well for uh, for the Wellington Phoenix, and this despite um, look, there's been a lot, there's been a managerial coaching changes, a lot of changes in personnel on both sides of the, the men's and women's. Um, of course, the men having um, the chef Giancarlo Italiano stepping up from his assistant role to become the head with the departure of Ufuk Talai, who's now uh, the Sydney FC manager. And yeah, and of course, Paul Temple taking over at the women's um, after a very disappointing first season for the women's team. And as it is, yeah, look, um, we're, look, it's still early days, um, and you know, it, it's almost really hyperbolic to say that uh, we're going to win the double. But look, I think you know why it's football. You know, why can't we just? It take it, enjoy it for now. You know, we're top, you know, we're kind of sitting quite close to the top. We were top three temporarily, but um, for the men's, of course, Western Sydney won last night, so they go back top on goal difference. Whereas, uh, well, well, the next women are pretty much in touch with Melbourne City and Perth Glory, who the women actually beat uh, at home. So, but so look, take it what you will. It's these are great times, and you know, maybe. We we should start dreaming. Look, I mean, for all the existence, uh, for all the Phoenix's existence, um, you know, we rarely get a chance to, you know, we, we you know we've, the, the the titles never really, um, or silverware has really never, you know, it's not never really been an equation. So, and look, it'll be nice if you know, it'll be a, it's a nice dream to have. And but look, I guess yeah. So, but I guess you know, I I guess the thought. Is starting. Can can the Phoenix, um, both men, you know, men or women, you know, could they possibly be title contenders? So look, I'll start off the men because obviously not the men a bit more. Um, you know, so look, we've we obviously Italiano's taken over, but strikers up front, um, you know, we still have Zawada and Kriv, and they've been probably the key. Zawada's um, scored a hat trick and has broken goal scoring records and. Um, yeah, and looked really, really sharp right from the word go. Look, I guess, you know, we kind of started the season with probably one of the most boring games of football you ever see against in Melbourne. But um, back came, coming back home, we, you know, just have not been able to stop goals and stop scoring goals. And we are still unbeaten at the moment. Um, and look, we went to Mount Smart. Um, look, I, I look. There are times where you know we've ridden our luck, but so far luck seems to be on our side. And I guess next fans have complained about you know referees not going against us, luck being on our side, VARs and all that. So it's kind of nice to enjoy a bit of a rub of the green, you know, at the expense of the other Australian sides. Um, I guess look, you also make your own luck, and I think uh, the rise of uh, Pols Alex Polson, the goalkeeper, has been really, really awesome. Look, we of course. Um, Lost long-time goalkeeper Ollie Sale to Perth, um, but you know I guess you know and I guess you know some there was a concern that we would miss him, but so far we haven't. Paulson's been really really amazing, and I guess the one concern is you know could you know he's still really young, could he be snapped up by a European club uh, in the future? 
but you know for now let's just enjoy the kids done really well effort or not and uh, yeah certainly been the player of the season for the next for me um, of course having Alex Rupert back uh, has been great we've managed to score secure someone like Finn Sermon Ben O for the long term so yeah look we've got a solid team there got Oscar Van Hattem you've got um, a couple of young players Costa Barbarossas is still uh, probably a little bit you know, in terms of a marquee player, is he really a marquee player? I'm still not wholly convinced, but look, he certainly has shown some improvements this season. So, yeah, look, and Atayano has got them playing, a, you know, they look really organized. I think they pretty much carry on from what Ufuk Talai has done. Um, sort of very organized. I think there are still moments defensive where, you know, you get a bit concerned. But look, I think getting against Melbourne City, for example, yesterday at, at um Mount Smart is, uh, you know, is a site that, that we've uh, traditionally, you know, in recent times have been smashed. So it was, it was certainly very great. Even, you know, I guess we were, we needed Paulson to get, keep us, keep, you know, ensure we had the three points. So, so yeah, look, the, um, whether we can sustain, I guess, it really, you know, we're on the, the season's long, obviously. It goes on till April and that's, you know, still many months away. Um, I think... Look, but the, the signs are really good, I guess. It will really come down to injuries and all that, um, how how we balance them out. Obviously, loss of form as well. I mean, Zawada, you know, Zawada is going to hit a bit of a dry patch eventually, as if Kraev, we, we'll need someone to step up. But I think we've got a side that could certainly, maybe Barbarous might finally uh, be the one, might finally chip in some goals. And look, similar conclusions to the women's side. Although I think, in the scheme of things, obviously, the women's team does have some really world-class players um con you know um more i guess more and um look i guess one player of course is the one the probably the highest profile signing for the women was the the signing of um canadian goalkeeper riley foster of course who was you know every well you know known for well, known upset, you know, for that accident which nearly paralyzed her and look she's made a remarkable recovery and yeah, is has been one of the reasons why the next look seems so much more short at the back. Um but also look, I think you you're talking about you know, like Anneli Longo, the the New Zealand all whites uh, midfielder who had a really, really good uh World Cup and yeah, she's the captain, and certainly having her there. You got Michaela Foster, who didn't quite feature in the World Cup, but you know she's a solid player. Of course, the daughter of Ian, of former All Blacks coach Ian Foster, um, and then of course the P P P Hope, you know, uh, Hope Breslin, um, and of course, Chloe Knott, and of course Macy Fraser, who is um, you know his, who is showing that she's more than just a TikTok sensation. Her, you know, the three K score at Porter Road Park against uh, Melbourne was you know, absolutely outstanding. Um, and of course, yeah, you've got like Grace Rusniewski, who's been a very constant player for the women. Um, and they seem to be more organized, but there are still times where, you know, they, they're they still a bit naive and all that. But ultimately, I think uh, the, the, the signs are really good. Paul, um, temp, I think, um, you yeah, and, and whether we could, um, whether the women could uh, finally you know, make their mark in the A League because, of course, last season they were kind of hanging around the bottom. Remains to be seen, um, but yeah, certainly great. You know, I think the women's team still needs a lot of support from the New Zealand public crowds. You know, I think they've tried to put the women's games up in the prime time games, prime time slots ahead of the men's crowds. Still go home after the men's games, unfortunately. But I think there are a lot more people staying around. And certainly playing like places like Pori Road Park where the capacity is small and more appropriate for women's football is going to help. So, yeah, no, I mean, certainly, you know, I think a lot, the women, the Wellington Phoenix women's team was kind of a little bit forgotten because they, you know, I think a lot of, they, they, I think casual fans would have really, you know, would have seen the scores, they were losing a lot. So it is nice to see them make this big, uh, you know, what has been a really big turnaround, whatever happens. I think they should have a really, really you know, they have the potential to improve on last season. Yeah, so that are, those are my thoughts on the Wellington Phoenix. Look, there is a lot of potential, and it's still far too early to consider whether they are title contenders, but I think they are certainly on the right track under Giancarlo Italiano and Paul Temple. 
and there's a lot to be excited about this coming summer. And, you know, hopefully Sky Stadium, Porirua Park um, will fill up to watch, the, um, you know, our next players and, and as well as English um, Rugby rugby League Park in Newtown. So, yeah, look, um, it will be interesting to see what you think about the next. But if you like this video, feel free to like and don't forget to subscribe.